AE Transfer is the script for 3DS Max that allows you to transfer object's parameters to After Effects. Before installation, make sure that 3DS Max is running with administrator privileges. Run the MZP file using the Run Script command from the Max Script menu, or simply drag and drop the MZP file into the 3DS Max window and click Install. After the message about successful installation, restart 3DS Max. Go to the Customize menu and open Customize User Interface dialog. In the opened window, go to the Toolbars tab and create a new toolbar. In the Category drop-down list, select AE Transfer and drag the icon to the panel. Run the script. Add the objects to the list. Tune up the scale. Export the data to a JSX file. Switch to After Effects and run the JSX script. The scene was transferred. The following object types are supported by the script. Target camera, free camera, all light sources, plane, point, and dummy. And the following parameters are allowed for export. First, let's place the objects we need in our scene. As we mentioned above, these can be standard planes, points, dummies, light sources, or cameras. They will be a reference for our future layers in After Effects, which in turn will have the same dimensions and will be located in the same places in the scene. To further correctly adjust the scale parameter, at least one plane should be placed in the scene. The objects can be animated or linked to other animated objects. In our scene we created five planes, one of which is linked to a spinning cube and two points also linked to the cube. Please keep in mind that the pivot point position is considered by the script only for planes and only when exporting a scene to JSX script. Make sure that the scene output resolution and a frame rate are set to desired values. These settings can be changed without restarting the script. Next, all the objects we created should be added to the object list. This can be done in two ways selecting objects one by one in the viewpoint using the pick button or using the by name dialog. The script allows you to add any light sources, but if you are planning to use the JSX export, you should consider that if a 3DS Max light source has a target, a spot source will be created in After Effects. If the light source has no target, an Omnitype layer will be created. Therefore, for example, if you need to export a Corona light source to a spot source in After Effects, you should switch its target checkbox on in 3ds Max. The object list is updated automatically. For example, if you remove one of the previously added objects from the scene, it will be automatically removed from the list too. The object list and all the script settings are being saved in a current scene file. Next time you open a scene, you will not have to configure it once again. Set the first and last frames of the exported scene. Now let's talk about the scale, the most important parameter for export. In its essence, scale is an ordinary multiplier applied to those object parameters, which units in After Effects should be expressed in pixels. 
In simple terms, this parameter determines how large are the scene objects in pixels and how big are the distances, also in pixels, at which they move during animation. Two small scale values would result to an image resolution loss in After Effects, two large values to an inefficient system resources expenditure. In order to understand how scale affects the final image, let us have a look at the simplest camera animation exported to After Effects from the simplest 3D scene with different scale values. In these two compositions, the output resolution is both 800 by 450 pixels. On the left, the scale parameters value is 2 and the layer resolution in front of the camera, 160 by 160. Due to the low resolution of the layer, which is located quite close to the camera, we can observe the inadequate image quality. On the right, the scale parameter is equal to 20 and the resolution of this layer is 10 times higher, 1600 by 1600 pixels. The image quality is very high, but such a layer resolution at such a distance from the camera is redundant, which further will result to an inefficient resources expenditure while you work with project. And here is how the given compositions look from the top view. Considering the same width of 800 pixels in both compositions, we can see the differences well in the imported scene with various scale values. Let's back to the active camera view. In order to determine the optimal required size in pixels for the given layer, we would need to match its visible from the camera size and the frame resolution. In this case, and based on the frame height of 450 pixels, the layer height of approximately 450 to 500 pixels could be accepted as the optimal value. So if the given layer was located farther away from the camera, the lower resolution value would be suitable. Let's determine the optimal scale value for our scene. For the entire period of our animation, find the plane object located as close to the camera as possible. Let it be the plane linked to the cube in frame 130. Set the time slider in this frame. Check the name of this plane and find it in the object list. Select the plane in the list and check its resolution in pixels. Knowing the frame resolution, let us visually compare the size of our plane with it. During the camera animation, the plane is passing pretty close to the camera, but we will limit its size to about 1400 pixels per side. In this case, it will be enough. Now adjust the scale parameter to get the required plane resolution. Remember that the future After Effects layer will have particular this resolution after the import. Our scene is ready for export. It remains to consider the purpose of several useful options. Auto Detect Animation checkbox allows you to reduce the number of the exported animation keyframes. When this checkbox is on, the static objects will not have any keyframes in After Effects and the animated objects will be provided with keyframes only to the last frame of animation thereof. Renderable Planes checkbox, when clicked on it, makes all the planes from the list as well as all the newly added planes, visible or none during the rendering. The given checkbox simply automatically enables or disables the renderable checkbox in the Object Properties dialog of each plane in the list. Export Light Intensity checkbox allows you to export the intensity of light sources. It activates the Light Intensity Multiplier Spinner, where the multiplier for this parameter can be set. Export of an object parameters can be realized using one of the following two ways. By Windows Clipboard. In this case, the parameters of only a single object currently selected in the object list would be exported by generating a JSX script for After Effects. In this case, all objects included in the object list would be exported. First, let's consider the export of all objects using a JSX script. Just click Export All and save the JSX file. Then switch to After Effects. Go to the File, Scripts, Run Script File menu, and run the script. In the Open dialog, we may select the composition to import. This can be an active, currently open composition. We are able to create a new one or we can import it into one of the available compositions. The list displays only compositions with appropriate properties for import, frame resolution, and FPS. Besides, we can specify here the layer type which will be used for creating planes. It can be rectangle shapes layers, 
solid layers, or null objects layers. And also, we are able to set some options that would be applied to all the planes. Click OK and we get our scene. If something went wrong, we can simply cancel scene import by pressing Ctrl Z. The Copy to Clipboard button is intended to export parameters of only a single object from the list by Windows Clipboard. The corresponding layer in After Effects should be already prepared and have the 3D layer attribute enabled. If you need to create a plane, you can find its exact size in AE Transfer Interface if the scale parameter has already been set. When creating a camera, make sure that its type corresponds to the type of camera exported from 3ds Max. In order to export a free camera from 3ds Max, it is required to create the one node type camera in After Effects. For a target camera, you will need to select the two node one. The same should be paid attention to when exporting the light sources. Now switch to 3ds Max. In the object list, select the object you need and click Copy to Clipboard. Go to After Effects Composition and select the layer for import. Be sure to set the time slider to the start frame and press Ctrl V. That is all. Thanks for watching.